What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another video. A uh, long time in no video, actually. Um, school is taking up a lot of my time, and it will be like that most of this year. But I'll try to do a bunch of bulk recording on weekends so I can pump out frequent videos. Uh, not much, not many videos this week, though, because school just started this week. And look, I just played a match and I lost. I lost so fast, it wasn't even funny. I was just two in the ladder. Um, with like an 1889 ranking, but I just lost a match to Flair. Um, here, have a look at what happened really quick. He just had a better start than me. Went first, and I couldn't really do anything to combat to combat this. And um, you could see he actually wins the game this turn with a Rosa Bean Potion. That's a a Rosa Bean Potion in a focus. <laughs> yep. So. He uh, also has blessing of haste when he sacrificed his scrolls, I think. So yeah, he wins this turn. And I had nothing to do. I lost on round 8 of the game. Round 8. And I am going to try to come back and win a couple of matches so I can get back up there. Try to get another weekly winner thingy. Um, and I'm going to try to improve my little videos a little bit. Um, from now on, I'll try to remember to include a link to the deck. Not a link to, uh, like a... A deck you can paste into the deck builder in all my videos. So, for example, um, in this video, I'll play a ranked match with you with using this standard round of decay deck, and I will have a link to it in the description, like the copy paste text you can copy paste and scroll. So you'll see that. Hopefully, you guys like that secret piece. A lot of people always ask me what deck I use and stuff like that. So hopefully, you won't have to ask if it's always in the description. Um, Pretty decent starting hand. I don't like that it's uh, there's no two drop or one drop, but we'll see. He's growth, so this is very good to start with. Start with the witch doctor. Um, let's see what I top deck. If I top deck a one drop or two drop, I'm definitely keeping this hand. All right, yeah, I'm definitely keeping this hand. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna sacrifice one of the five drops. I can go as I can damage curse at turn four. I'll sacrifice the oblivion seeker. As good as Blaming Seeker is, I think against Growth, I'm going to want the uh, more health of the Life Stealer. So, yeah. Um, so, next turn, I wish uh, the Darkling was a. Was a. Uh, <sighs> Trizen. That would be perfect. But, oh well. It hopefully, it doesn't have a Mystic Ranger. Alright, nothing else. That's fine. Um, Life Stealer. I'll go ahead and play the uh, Sacrifice of Life Stealer and play the Darkling. Next turn, um, if he moves down to engage me, I'll probably put the Blight Bearer in front of the uh, Darkling. Maybe he'll be scared of the, the Blight Bearer. And then the next turn, Damage Curse if I need to. Probably I will Damage Curse anyways, whatever the strong thing on the board is. Ranger, that's a damage curse target. Some people put their rangers in the back, some people in the front. I'm more of a front guy because I like the four health, but I understand the back because it's just amazing. Like having, it's amazing to have to keep this guy alive. He's so good. Now I have a decision: Do I want to have the harvester or the blood bearer out? I'm going to go with the harvester. Might be a bad decision. I don't know. In fact, it probably is a bad decision. Okay, so now, let's see. He might try to move down with the Vetter and the Ranger this turn. I don't know. That would probably be what I would try to do. And then I would probably damage Curse the Ranger, but it's still, there'll still be a two-attack Vetter coming on me. And it would be really bad if he does what goes with the Vetter next turn. Vetter in this turn would also be bad. And he was down with everything. Great Wolf. Like, we're gonna, don't move down, don't move down, don't move down. Don't move down with this guy and this guy. Yes. Okay, good. Well, actually, that might be not, not that good for me. This might win really fast and just take a middle idol. But what that does is I'm going to Damon Curse. I want to play Lesser. I'm going to sacrifice Damon Curse. I might want to Damon Curse both of these, but I really want to get the Lifestyle out in case this Darkened guy is need a human in front. And I will Damon Curse the... Some point. And we can plus one attack. This attacks every turn. Or Great Wolf. I'll get rid of the Great Wolf, because that's what can break through Witch Doctor. This guy can't really. So there. And now hopefully he doesn't have like a Ragged Wolf or something to destroy. 
my darkling because I want to have preferably if I can get like multiple humans on the board when by the time I play the witch doctor that'd be perfect okay now I'm a little worried he is really he has a tight grip on okay only sag heart that's okay now I have to get that life stealer down um I'm going to sacrifice the Ripper, play the Life Stealer. Should I move up and try to, or stay down and try to lure him up and try to not attack me? That would just be a mind game I'd play with him. Life Stealer in front or behind? Let's see. Crimson Bull kills them both. If he's a Ragged Crimson Bull, that kills everything, so that, that would just be like uh, GG. Um, put it in front of Lifesealer, automatically dies, put it in back, Lifesealer, might survive. Unless there's a veteran or something. I'll do that. And... I'm gonna actually keep... I'm gonna actually stay low. Stay in the bottom row. Hopefully he moves up. That'd be kind of weird if he moved up, but... I mean, it might not help me, but like I said, he can just win the game really fast, but... Let's see, if he has a veteran, that'd be kind of bad. Because then I can, uh, then I don't have a human to have in front of the Witch Doctor. Once there's a human in front of the Witch Doctor, I think I might be okay. If I can have a turn where I can get a Witch Doctor when there's a human in, that's there already to go in front. If he has a veteran this turn, there won't be a human. Unless he wants to run away anyways because of that Harvester, because the Harvester can do a lot of mean stuff to him. He moves up, it, come on. Let's see. Is he gonna move everything up? Doesn't look he, he interesting. Takes on that idol. Actually that's pretty smart. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let us see. Let us see. Um I'm going to definitely move up with stuff now. Uh May as well put you up here so that I'll put you there. Okay, so now he can win really fast if he has correct cards, but he only, he's top tech. So am I. Now I have to. So I, I would like like probably a damn curse to get rid of the wildling maybe. But also kill my own thing, which would maybe get the harvester attack. Right, moves. Is he gonna move up and try to just? Nail down that idol. If I have to protect idols on different fronts, that could be bad. That could be really bad. Um, I would need I need to draw a human this coming turn. A human because oh boy. Okay. So he is trying to rush me in Oh nice, he does not destroy this idol yet. Oh that's that's huge. That is really important. He's not destroying middle idols, so I can move right in front of middle idol. Boy, that is awesome. Okay, good. He's getting the attack buff. I need to move up now. Brain lice. It's a good card, but I'll have to... No human, that's really important. But, soul steel is really cool. So, what do I want to soul steal? The wildling or the better? The wildling. And, yeah. I really needed a human, though. Oh, well. Hopefully this will still end up like over here in front so I can get put in front of Rod here. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'll move you here. You like that. I'm just I'm protecting my idols. At the same time, I know we can't break through really because I have the Witch Doctor and there's a Rod. There's the three cards Growth hates the most on my side of the board. Witch Doctor, number one. And then like Carverson, number two. Rod Eater, number three. Those three cards really destroy growth. So you saw he had like a great start, and now it's more even. Be, well, a lucky rumble can really ruin this game for me. But right now, I should be able to do okay. Especially now that he did not, he was not able to destroy middle idol last turn. So that was great for me. Um. See, so yeah, like I was saying before, I'm going to. If you want to use his deck or something, 
you can copy paste the link in this description of the deck into the scrolls deck builder and you can put it in there you can do it online too on scrolls guide deck builder or scroll deer scrolls oh yeah i found it i just realized that that's i always pronounce it scroll deer it's scrolger kind of like soldier scrolls that's why it's all that way i feel so stupid when i realized that wow um but yeah so i'll make sure i start calling that that now and if you didn't know great news on scrolldeer.com um not scrolls.com scrolls.com uh scrolls is being released to the public oh, it's already released to the public but it's leaving beta mode and mojang's going to market it and support it and hopefully advertise it a bunch and that will probably bring many more players to the game and that means that we that i hopefully my content is going to be uh, uh better and it can please the beginners more and i'm not happy about top decking and tries them because i want to top deck something bad so i can sacrifice it or whatever and damage curse is good yeah damage curse i, I destroyed two all right we're damage cursing um let's see let's see let's see so what do i want to do here three if I damage curse, what? What do I damage? If I can kind of do that, can I just clear the board? Um, it's five, and that's three, and then that is six. No, I can't. Oh, well, yeah, I can. Okay, so. Let's see, can I save? Okay, I can do this. So I'll go like this. So first I'm going to sacrifice you because what I'm going to do here, you're going to die to a damage curse anyway. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to save the rot eater. So now the rot eater won't die to a damage curse. So that little thing kind of, so now I have to damage curse like something. Uh, I don't know. I'll damage curse this. Perfect. So now I'm able to destroy stuff. I had to damage curse. If I didn't damage curse anything in that row, then I uh, I couldn't clear the row because I had nine total health after the five attack from the witch doctor, which also only eight attack. But now I'm really, I'm actually really, uh, I'm still more vulnerable. Like as we saw, in, I think in my last run from this video, I lost two growth deck that had quakes and frost scales, and it did not wasn't too good. But hopefully I can top back on Necker again soon. Probably win the game kind of fast. That would be ideal. Okay. Veteran. Okay, so that kills that. And let's see. See, I like having this ripper over here. I could move it right in. Don't like to sacrifice a life stealer. But that's perfectly fine. Because I got a hunter and a languid you. And I got a. A necker gun, which is cool, but that's really a win con because I don't want to like lose to a what's it called a quake. So I'm probably giving up the ten health out of it. I want to protect these three rows. I'm going to I don't like moving the harvester away from the action, but I want to destroy this. Um, keep the the humans in front of the harvester and the witch doctor. Move this down so it's going to be able to attack the stuff over here and put that up there. Okay. And next turn, uh, pro I, I won't be able to win. But hopefully soon after that. Um, okay. Okay, so he's moving down. Um, the Earthworm Mystic is really cool with Languid because the attacks of... I mean, if I left the idle open, that would be kind of bad for me, but I didn't. And Leeching Ring. Okay, that's going to... I mean, I feel like that might be... Even though it survives this, it lets this thing survive a little bit, but I'm still going to kill it this turn, so... 
Um, I'm actually, I love the human, but I'm actually going to keep the Necrogun because that could be a way I could win. Because I'm afraid he might have a Quake. And Quake wouldn't do that much to me, but here, that's actually better. I got Harvester and Rod Deer. Those are Quake resistant cards as well. Um, okay, let's go like this. Rot Eater here and Harvester back here. And we are leaving that type idol, top idol open. But we're probably like actually going to be able to win without a, without a Necker again, which is going to be pretty good. I'm um, not sure what Helian Door is ranked. Hopefully, I get a nice chunk of rating for this piece. I feel like I was. Um, I just lost the rank match, uh, the match before this, and it wasn't really. It wasn't really anything I could do to win because it was just a, a very good start by order and. Order versus decay. When I'm not when poison decay is a different story, but regular decay, it's not like that. So I rest the watcher. Um. Okay, so I'll destroy you. Uh. Play another witch doctor. Five. It's gonna bring that down to five. It's gonna be down to three. Let's go like this. Okay. So we should be able to win next turn. Huh. So that was pretty good. Close to losing, and I will actually win on round like 13 or 12. Awesome. Um, so I'll try to some bulk recording try to get a weekly winner i actually haven't gotten any of the weekly winners for being on top three in the ladder yet because the weekly winners were put onto the live server um they were released like they started after i can I actually win i just still stealing something said not we're getting yeah i can okay but yeah, the weekly winner things were added uh, after I was like number one on the ladder for a while, so I didn't get that. But yeah, so that's GG. Um, I do have two of the weekly winners for most wins in a week. I got that twice. And there we go. Uh, only a sorcerer Helander, so I probably only got a couple. Uh, only one. Well, he's always 12, 12 six. I wonder why it's one. Um. Well, well then, that sucks. Only one rating. Oh well, lose, to win one, gain one, lose, lose one, lose like twenty-five. That's how I. That's what I've had to play with with ranked for the past year. Oh well. So uh, make sure you check the description for the deck. Um, Sorry, my commentary might be weird this match because I haven't recorded in a week or so or more. And sorry about the, the fax machine going on in the background. You can't even turn it off with like a phone. But um, subscribe if you want more content from me. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. And make sure we all make Scrolls a better place for all the new players that are going to come soon. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more. That's a maybe top place to me. Northplanage at gmail.com. Goodbye.